Hey y'all, the Appalachian Sun here. I posted a poll and you voted, so today's episode is about you, the viewer. First up, we have Permaculture Appalachia. I just wanna say, hey buddy, I appreciate your subscription and much love to you over the mountains. He says, everybody, thumbs up and subscribe. I really appreciate that, and if you follow his advice. Okay. Next up, Brenda Easter. This man is very good looking and would look like a male model with a good haircut. <laughs> well, thank you very much for your uh, compliment. But, uh, you know, I'm, I'm growing it out. I'm trying to embrace that uh, good night, that 70s haircut right now. And all, my wife's also my hairstylist and she's a rock star. So we're gonna see, uh, we're gonna see where this, these luscious locks go. Succulent Garden Life, best of luck on your channel. Thank you so very much. It's crazy that last week I had 300 and something subscribers and I was not chasing subscribers at all. I just decided to make some YouTube content that I would wanna watch. And I woke up one morning and there's almost 2000 of you and I just want to express deeply how grateful I am for your time, for comments that I'm not gonna share today, but if, if you shared that you had a loved one who passed away in a similar uh, situation, whether that was an aircraft accident or um, an, another cause of death that we've discussed, that's, that's tremendous and that gives me a reason to keep making these videos because we all meet in an unfortunate end and yeah. Melanie E. I thought that Patsy had her hand or foot severed in that accident and it landed on a tree. I cannot find any documentation of this. I have requested uh, from the state of Tennessee the autopsy report uh, and see what other sort of documentation they might send along with that because it's been long enough and that should be public record, but we could still meet some red tape, but I'm planning on making an episode as soon as I find out more information. Based on my research, we might be able to assume that yes, unfortunately limbs of the passengers of the plane might have been and or were found in the trees, but it's very grim and that's, the idea of the video, but it, it's also, I wanted to respectfully remember Patsy Cline, Hawkshaw Hawkins, and Cowboy Copas, and the pilot Randy Hughes in that video. I didn't necessarily want to talk about them being mangled in an aircraft accident, but if you desperately need to see images like that, you can Google aircraft accident in the trees and you get what you're looking for. Ashley Wills, can you do Otis Redding or Randy Rhodes? Yes. I, those are, they're on my list and I'm planning to do them. I actually have a list that's well over 50 people at this point. So one after another, please keep sending in the recommendations. I really, uh, my list has been growing and it's because of you. Thank you so much. Scott Lambert, could you do a cause of death for Buddy Holly, Richie Valens, and the Big Bopper? Certainly yes. I, I've been researching this one for several weeks already. I uh, found some very interesting information. Uh, but I want to get better at video editing because when I make that video, I want that to be a really good one. So just be patient. It's on the way. Valerie McKenna. I'm into country music such as Reba McIntyre, the Judds and Dolly Parton. Basically country music. I'm talking the 80s and 90s. I couldn't agree with you more. Uh, and I think if you ask my wife, she would tell you that I probably haven't really listened to anything recorded after at least the early 90s but I'm, I'm pretty much like, I, I'm there in the, in the, in the, from the 60s through the 80s myself. This is the best music that's gonna ever exist. And, and the crazy thing is it's been so long since it was released and it still has an emotional effect and it still rocks. So I'm not gonna stop. Nora Stanley. This guy doesn't have all of his facts straight, sorry. Well, Nora, I'm, I'm sorry you feel that way, but if you click the little down arrow underneath the video, you will see a detailed list of all of my cited sources. I uh, only use sources that I think can be the most trusted, so government documents for the plane crash, newspaper articles from the local area of the time, and uh, other very large, very popular things such as um, Rolling Stone magazine and, and, and things like that. And 
I'm a young guy. I wasn't alive when Patsy Cline had a plane crash, so there could be things that have changed over time. I'm just delivering the best information I can given the information that's available. Douglas. It's called throttle, not accelerator, in a piston engine aircraft. I'm an anthropologist. And thanks for letting us know. Ginny White. Can't believe some people would raid a dead body like that. You and me both. Patsy Klein, Leonard Skinner, and I'm pretty sure as we go through all of these celebrity plane crashes, we're gonna find that 200 people showed up and looted the crash site. That is terrible. If you have the urge to do that, do not do it. If you are the person who raided the Leonard Skinner graves and you're watching this video, shame on you. Or if you've gone into a cemetery and done anything of ill fate, faith, fate, shame on you. Lisa A. Henyu Henderson. I love what you do. Keep on doing this. Much love and respect to you. Many hugs to you. Yes, I've seen them and it's great for the music to continue on. Thank you so very much for your, uh, your love and your support. And yes, the music's gonna continue on. I, this is in regards to the Leonard Skinner uh, video. As long as people keep choosing those songs as their um, last right, their, their end of life passage song, that music's gonna always stay alive. And honestly, I don't think it's ever going to stop being Absolutely incredible. J and A Price. People died in separate accidents on the way to her funeral. It's trippy. Please uh, send some uh, links or information to this. I would love to find out more and include it in the next video that I'm gonna make when we get the documentation back for Patsy Klein. I couldn't find any information on this, but I would like to hear the story. George E. Audio way too low. George and everyone who commented on my audio, I'm so sorry. I was using a uh, the microphone on the camera it was, and a free video editing software and I wasn't able to adjust the audio levels in that video software and I was trying to be cool and make a background song on my own and it ended up just kind of all running together and, and I kind of shot myself in the foot with it. I really wish the audio in the Patsy Cline video was better but I respect all of you and appreciate you all for letting me know for the positive critique and I, it can only get better. Thank you for bearing with me as I learn how to edit videos. Melanie E, what's that loud beep? It's annoying. Boop, it's a blooper beep. I thought like that's, it's a blooper beep. Hey, boop. I'm sorry you got annoyed by it. Do you get annoyed at PBS like when they run the blooper reels? Cause I'm, I, uh, I like bloopers. I like seeing like how people mess up. Cause this is, this talking into a camera is so hard. Uh, so thank you again for bearing with me and uh, I'll try to keep the beeps to a minimum. Boop. David Johns, Dick is not Patsy Cline's birth name. I'm sorry, I know, uh, Virginia Hensley. That's Patsy Cline's real name. I misspoke in the video again. This is really hard. Once you're looking into this, this eye of the camera that's thousands of eyes looking back at you. Words get hard. I apologize. Virginia Dick is Patsy Cline's married name. Stamper Wendy. Very sad. Great job. I'm wondering what name Cowboy Copas was buried under. Thanks. Thank you for your comment. And I wrote that down for you. Cowboy Copas, his real name is Lloyd Estel Copas. And Hawkshaw Hawkins' birth name is Harold Franklin Hawkins. I think I said that in the video, but if I didn't, I'm sorry, and there's the clarification. Thank you so much for watching. Again, I'm deeply grateful for your support. Please like, subscribe, ask your questions for the next uh, Death Call episode where the show's about you, not so much about me or the death of the celebrities that we know and love. Remember, it ain't stripping if you're already naked. I'm boop. Remember, time waits for no man.